Good evening, everybody, from Hiroshima, Japan. That's right, it's a wonderful evening here. I just went to go check into what I was hoping it was gonna be a capsule hotel. Uh, it's closed, so and I'm going with my backup plan hotel, which is over by the pizza vending machine in town. Um, it's about 7.35 right now. We got plenty of time. I'll find a place. We got hours. Either way, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's night vlog. We're just going to vlog around and see if we notice anything different. Maybe some different vending machines. It's a different area. We're practically 500 miles away from where I normally stay. So, it's a big trip. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to go over to the, uh, the dome. A couple other things. I just found out the museum is closed. I'm super bummed about that. Uh, the uh, Peace Memorial Museum is closed until the 20th. That's a little bummer there, but we'll make it work. That's what we do here on the channel. We still go check places out and see things. Uh, just got off the train a little bit ago. What a what a ride. It didn't even feel that long. It's uh, I thought it'd be a little warmer. You know, we're a little more south now, and uh, it's not. <laughs> My hands are still cold. Uh, we're going to try the... Appa Hotel over there. It sticks out the best and uh, I think it's like 60 bucks. I don't know, we'll figure it out when we get there. But uh, I'm really bummed. I wanted to bring you guys a capsule hotel video. Uh, but they had a big old sign on the door. They're closed for a while. So um, There is no way that's only $36 a night. I mean, I've been wrong before about stuff here, but only 30 This place is amazing. Look at the entryway. They even have heat lamps here, which is good, because my hand is cold. Uh, <laughs> and there's a Lawson's right here. Look at that, I got my monster and everything. I was going inside and figure out. That was a super easy, quick check-in. We're on the 12th floor, and it was only 40, or 4,000 yen, so about $36 US. Uh, it wasn't wrong. Yeah, I'm just quite surprised. We'll, we'll see what the room looks like. But, uh, the entry looks pretty awesome, so and the elevator looks really good. All right, here we go. Put the car key in the door. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'll figure this out. Okay. Oh, it's a real Japanese hotel room. Check it out, everybody. <laughs> you got your bed. Is there a pillow? <laughs> There's not much of a pillow. Oh, I'm gonna wake up with a neck pain for sure. But uh, oh, the TV. <gasps> Check that out. Oh, there's the mat. Ooh, there's a spa opening. Ooh. From 3 to 1 a.m. Oh, we got we got time. Okay. Right, this is pretty cool. I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to unpack for a moment, charge, put some things on some chargers, and then let's go grab something to eat. Maybe check out the spa. I'm pretty excited right now. In Hiroshima, at a hotel in Japan for $36. And, oh, look at you. Look at the water coming. Look at that. <laughs> this has been an amazing day, you guys. You guys are awesome. And why did I say you guys are awesome? It's because you guys, one, watch the channel, which, as you notice, there's ads. Number two, uh, we have Patreon members who support the channel. You want to support the channel and get more stuff like this? Check out Patreon. We have that. If you don't, that's okay, too. Just watch the videos. That works, too. Check it out. I've been uh, getting ready to get going outside so we can go grab something to eat because as much as this Domino's uh, this menu here looks really cool if you notice the pizza prices are about as much as the room that's wild 3800 for the pizza and yeah the room was 4000 so uh, <laughs> train ride today I'm in the one place I've always wanted to travel to ever I want to thank the wife for all her support. She is the reason I am the traveling that I am. Because when she met me, I didn't travel at all. And she did this. So I love her. Okay. Let's go outside. So it's a little later than I thought it was. It's about 8.35, 8.40, somewhere in there. And uh, I'm not sure there's going to be much open for anything at this point. Uh, I don't even see anybody walking along the street. I don't know, there's one person. It's pretty quiet. It's pretty awesome though. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. I'm, even though the museum's closed and we're not doing that tomorrow. Just means we have to come back and do it again. 
right? In the future. Maybe we'll bring some people. Uh, man, what, what are we gonna do? There's a lot of construction. There's huge, the whole way into this area, there is this like tower, tower construction. It's crazy. I'm uh, currently walking towards the Hiroshima Castle. I think that's this way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just kind of nighttime exploring. I'm obviously not tired. I'm pretty, pretty wired and excited. We'll figure something out. Well, after walking quite a distance, actually, I made it to Hiroshima Castle. But if you notice, that's just the gate right there. If you look way off back there in the distance, that's where the actual castle is. It's actually a good distance back there. Um, since the museum looking like, you know, I'm just going to go with positive hopes there that the museum's not closed and tomorrow I can go do that. But even then, we still have all day. It's only an hour, hour 45, something like that, back to Osaka tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we have to get back on the bullet train and go to Osaka because we are going to Universal. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for that. Um, I already got the app downloaded for Nintendo World. We might do the Harry Potter thing. I don't, we do Harry Potter back in Uni uh, Universal Orlando, but here in Japan, we're going to Nintendo World. That is the plan at least. This is so cool. We're definitely doing this tomorrow. I love my castles. If you guys don't know, I love castles. I love Disney castles and I love real castles. I haven't been to Europe yet. We got Europe castles coming in the future, hopefully. Moving to Florida would help that a lot. Everybody still doesn't understand. I'm moving to Florida. It just kind of delayed. It's nine o'clock by the way, everybody. It's nine o'clock and I am wide awake, pumped, ready to just wind it up, you know, like get going, but everything's closed. It's kind of a bummer. If you're wondering why I'm walking around like this at this time of night, I'm scouting for tomorrow. I'm pre-planning. I'm always planning. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, entry gate right there. This one looks pretty good. I, I'm telling you, now, I've been to Odawara, Tommy. Matsumoto, don't get me wrong, I love Matsumoto Castle. If you guys don't remember, I went there last year. We'll put the thing right there for you. Osaka Castle, if we have time. Universal might take up all our time, but you know, if we have time. I just remembered like the whole reason we went out was so we can go uh, get some food. <laughs> I got on the go and I forgot. We got the Hiroshima Museum of Art here. We're a block away from the Memorial Park right now. That's, that's how much on the go I'm right now. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna do it now. Well, we're gonna see it at night, right? But just, just a little bit. We're not gonna spend a lot of time there. We're gonna do that tomorrow. We have a lot of time tomorrow. <gasps> Whoa, check out this mall. It's got a sweet bridge here. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> the shops and restaurants. Oh, there's a basement floor down there, but that is Pasila. Yep, I don't say names. Uh, it looks like they still have Christmas lights up. Lots of taxis available. And right around the corner is the Peace Memorial. As you all know, I love maps and uh, here we go. Here's a map right here. Uh, we're right here. The, the T bridge that you guys, if you know anything about the history, the designation point, the, the yeah, we're there. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, we're there. Like, this is crazy. It's, I can't believe I'm here. I've only read about and learned about this for years and years. Since I was like seven years old. Cool streetcar there, and it's completely right around like the corner. Wow, it's. it's, it's <laughs> sorry, I'm just. Uh, I can't. This, this doesn't feel real. I mean, it's just. It doesn't. You guys will see it tomorrow, but it's just wild to think about. 
yeah, we're going to spend some serious time here tomorrow. But uh, I should probably head back, get some food, because that was the original plan, and get ready for tomorrow. Because there's a lot to see. There's a lot to read. There's I've noticed there's <clears throat> plaques everywhere. I haven't been reading anything, because I'm going to save it tomorrow. But I had to come here tonight. I've tried to figure out what to say, like... I have hit record and said words and then it just becomes mumbles because there's a there's the effect of what happened here and then there's the childhood growing up to now where I'm here so there's like a double shock and I I don't I don't got anything I'm gonna see you guys at the room I'm just gonna put the camera away we'll see you in the room I'm just uh yeah I need a minute back in the room now um, I couldn't find anything open so I 7-eleven <laughs> it's the spot um, I got some soy salt chicken cup of noodle not the one I made a cup of noodles but I grabbed one I don't know I'm not very hungry did that, that whole being there thing really just changed my night like It's just unreal to to be there. You learn about it. You go through history class. You you do what I do, and you watch a lot of World War II history, and and you learn things. And you're just like, wow, you know, one day I would like to go there. And for me, that was like, I know f most people think of like going to like Tahiti or Bora, Bora you know, somewhere. Mine was here. Mine was the dome of Hiroshima, and here I am, and I saw it and it it was the word I don't have words like that's how it hit me so um I'm gonna eat my chicken I just talked to the wife and she's up I called her tell her I love her and I'm just there's so many feelings coming in between like traveling across Japan which I never thought I would do um Growing up as a kid, Japan was my travel destination I've always wanted. I've been very fortunate to travel here year after year. Fourth year of travel to Japan now. You know, most people don't get to even travel out of country once. And I don't take it for granted. I, I get out there and I see the places. Actually, it's why I started the channel. But I'm rambling now. I'm going to eat my chicken. and It's almost 11. Probably go to bed around midnight because I probably won't wake up until like six, five, somewhere in there. I don't want to wake up too early, so because I don't think most things open around here till nine. It is Saturday, so let me eat my soy chicken. <laughs> Fell asleep, but now I'm awake. Uh, I feel much better today. I feel awake. <laughs> uh, last night that was cold. It was uh, feels like 28 out last night, so. Hands were cold, face was cold, but I made it work. Either way, feeling it today. I gotta get all my stuff packed up into the bag. We got a whole day here. We're not even, we don't even have to leave here until almost like seven-ish. Yeah, so we got plenty of time here. If we can't find anything, which is impossible, there's always something to go find, we'll probably head over to Osaka early, get checked in, maybe get dinner up in Osaka, well, who knows? Either way. That's going to be the end of today's video, or last night's video that I was supposed to end. And we'll start today's video in just a moment. But thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Let's me know you enjoyed it. Of course, subscribe to the channel. I love the support. It's free to do. And we're going out and exploring Japan this week. So you're going to want to stick around for that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.